Sorry, I'm late. No, no, that's quite all right, dear. Your father and I were just discussing this day's work. Why didn't you tell our daughter about it, honey? Yeah. Jenny, Jenny, today I quit my job and then told my boss to go fuck himself. And then I blackmailed him for, six, or for almost $6,000 past the asparagus. Your father seems to think this behaviour is something to be proud of. And your mother seems to prefer I go through my life like a fucking prisoner while she keeps my dick in a mason jar under the sink. How dare you talk to me like that? And I marvel that you can be so contemptuous of me on the same day that you lose your job. Is it? It's not like, whoops, where did my job go? I quit! Someone passed me the asparagus. Under the added pressure of being the sole breadwinner now. I already have a job! No, no, no. Don't give a second thought as to who's going to pay the mortgage. You'll just leave it all up to Carolyn. You don't- you mean you're going to take care of everything, Carolyn? Yes, I don't mind. I really don't mind everything. You mean everything? Yes. You have the, you don't mind having the sole responsibility. Your husband feels he could just quit his job. Okay. Well, someone just... passed me your fucking asparagus! Excellent. Sit down! I'm sick of tired being treated like I don't exist. You two do what you want, whenever you want, and I don't complain. Oh, you don't complain? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, I must be psychotic then. Because if you don't complain, what is this? Am I locked away in a paddled cell somewhere, hallucinating? That's the only explanation I can think of. Don't interrupt me, honey. Oh. And another thing, from now on, we're going to alternate our dinner music because quite frankly, and I don't think I'm alone here, I'm really sick and tired of this Lawrence Welk shit.